Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome to another great video. It is a rainy day in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, so we figured what a great day to play with fire. So what we're gonna be doing today is uh, showing you three different methods that we've scoured the internet and YouTube and found three different methods for removing PVC fittings from, uh, from existing fittings. So removing the pipe from the coupling is what we're gonna be doing today. So we've got three different methods that we're gonna try out and we're gonna kinda do a little bit of an experiment here where we're gonna try these three methods and then we're gonna take a look at the fittings after we've done all three methods and see which one really works the best, which one kinda gives you the best end result. All right, so we're gonna kick this off by showing you our first method of removing a PVC piece of pipe from a PVC PVC fitting. This method is the only method that we don't use heat. We're simply going to use, in this case, a sawzall and uh, what we're going to do is slice some grooves in the fitting so that we can then tap it out of there or pry it out of there with a chisel or screwdriver. So I'm just ensuring that I don't go all the way through. So going relatively slow, kind of taking the saw out and looking. And it looks like we kind of went through a little bit on the back side, so that is a fail. But we'll keep going and see how this works out. All right, so now we've completed the four cuts and uh, with the first cut, you can see I kind of nicked the coupling just a little bit, and that may be detrimental to what you're trying to do, uh, and kind of counterintuitive to trying to save that fitting. Um, now, we'll get working on this and try to get a screwdriver in here and pry these out. Just put the screwdriver in the groove here and then kind of hold it. And there we go, we got that out. You can see that this is kind of a, a rude and crude method of getting fittings apart. You're kind of left with scars and gouges and, and the instance where I went just a little bit too deep. Um, so that all kind of adds up to this not being the most ideal way of getting fittings apart. That's what we've got with the first method. On to fire. So we're gonna uh, hit this with a whole bunch of primer and then we're gonna light it on fire and then the idea is to let the fire go out and then hit it with primer again and light it on fire again and then see if we can pry this out while still salvaging the coupling. All right, so step one, go, uh, go with a bunch of primer. And I think that it makes sense to try to avoid getting a lot of primer on the fitting on the inside. So, and, and I didn't, in the video that we saw where somebody had done this, they didn't take any real precautions on stopping the primer from getting on the actual fitting surface. But um, I would think that if you use like a towel or something to wipe that primer out of there, you could help to kind of control the burn a little bit. But we're gonna just do it as is, kind of the way that we saw it done, and we'll see what happens. Now obviously, when you're burning PVC, you don't want to breathe that. That's why we're outside. That's why we're doing it in a nice open area. All right, it looks like it's actually burned completely out. <laughs> Make sure it is completely out before hitting it with primer again. You don't really want an explosion or something. This isn't necessarily an OSHA compliant process that we're performing here. More of just a experiment to see how well these different methods actually work. And now she's out. Make sure it's clean out. And now let's just see if we can pry this off. It's definitely a little bit soft. And the outside's really not super hard. 
Okay, so that's definitely kind of coming off. Let's see if we can get a hold of it with our pliers here. And then just kind of try to roll it out of there. Yeah, this one, it seems to be working, but we may have to actually burn it one more time to just get it soft enough. Once again, give it a little airflow. Take care not to breathe any of that. Now, something about lighting stuff on fire that brings me back to my childhood. Probably shouldn't say that, but it's true. Now the actual fitting itself seems to kind of be on fire. All right, it seems to be out again. See if we can get any more progress. We're kind of past the point of no return. Can't really burn it again. There we go. All right, she's out. And really, not too terrible, but we'll, we'll recap and compare these once it's all said and done. So this other method, we're gonna heat up this stainless steel coupling. Now I specifically grab stainless steel because um, galvanized steel has that zinc coating on it. I mean, you could use like black iron pipe, but that galvanized coating is a pretty dangerous off gas. So uh, the idea with this one is we've got our, our pliers here and we're gonna heat that up and we're gonna drop it in here and let it heat the pipe up that way. So we'll heat this up good and hot. It'll probably take a minute or so. All right, let's see if that's hot enough. I gave it a good, at least a good minute. So we'll just let that sit in there for a minute or two. Now this one obviously you get that smoke because the metal's coming in contact with the PVC. So again, don't breathe that. This one actually smokes quite a bit more than the flame one because I think the flame actually burns some of that off. It's already starting to soft up right around, soften up right around the edges. So this method seems to be so far pretty pretty good. All right, let's see if we can get that pride out of there. All right, so now we're gonna start working this. Boy, we probably could have let that sit maybe uh, a, a few seconds less because it is really nice and soft, but it, it's making it really easy. I gotta admit, so far this is like my favorite method. There it is. So we've got that. That thing definitely took a beating. You're not using that again. But uh, that came out quite clean. So let's go look at uh, all three methods and kind of see how they compare. All right, so we're back in the shop. Uh, we've got all three of our uh, methods sitting here. Uh, the, the first method that we tried, the saw test. Um, again, here's kind of what we've got. We've got the four pieces that we cut apart. The unfortunate thing about this one, this was the no heat method. Um, is that it took a piece of the native fitting with it and it's kind of questionable of, of whether or not my cutting had anything to do with that piece of plastic pulling out of there. I definitely say this is not my favorite method. I don't think that this one works the best. It's kind of nice because you don't have to deal with the fire and deal with uh, the gases that come off of the burning PVC but it's hard to dispute the evidence that that method works better. Here's kind of the second one that we did. This is more of the crude method where we took the primer um, and smothered it around inside and lit it up. And here's kind of what we came out with. And obviously it's coiled up like that because we kind of just rotated it out of place with our pliers. 
Um, so here's kind of the inside of that one. Here's the inside of that first one since we got a closer shot now. So this is the first one, the saw method. And you can see where I kind of overcut just a little bit. And that's actually where that piece sheared off. So that definitely didn't help things at all. The second one, uh, that fitting actually turned out pretty decent. We've got a couple of little scars um, that I think a guy could probably work out of there with some primer uh, to get this fitting nice and cleaned up and ready to use again. So I would say that the, the burning method, as silly as it seems, definitely is a viable method for, for doing that. And on the back end, I mean, we had a little bit of scorching that happened. Um, and like I mentioned earlier in the video, if a guy took some precaution and cleaned that up so that the primer wasn't in contact before lighting it, that may help to kind of minimize that burning that happens on the inside. Um, so that one worked out pretty well. And then this one, um, this is the one where we heated up the stainless steel coupling and set it inside of here. And you can see that coupling just gave it a, a super hot burn, but it's really even all the way around. Um, and this fitting definitely, no question, came out looking the best. I mean, there's only a couple little tiny scars with the screwdriver, and those are really shallow. So once you get this primered up and get this old primer out of here, I think that that fitting is great. I mean, you really don't have much uh, damage on this side of the fitting. So I would definitely say that that method worked out a lot better than the other two methods. So stainless steel coupling takes the cake on this one. All right, so that concludes our uh, how to remove PVC from PVC fittings video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it informative. Um, this one specifically, we would really love to hear from you in the comments section below. If you have any other methods or any ideas on making these methods a little bit better, we would definitely like to hear from you. And uh, you know, if we get a new idea, maybe we could pop it into a fresh video for you guys. Um, in addition to that, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos and our channel. Uh, that subscription really helps us to grow and kind of helps us to put more content out there. Um, other than that, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.